हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन एंड दिस इज माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सेल्स मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड आई हैव डेवलप्ड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन पाइथन जेंगो एंड माय स्कूल द वर्जन फॉर द पाइथन आई एम यूजिंग इज द पाइथन वर्जन थ्री जेंगो वर्जन इज टू एंड द माई स्कूल वर्जन इज फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स फॉर कनेक्टिंग माई स्कूल डेटा बेस विथ पाइथन एंड जेंगो आई एम यूजिंग द पाइथन माई स्कूल जेंगो कनेक्टर विच यू विल गेट इजली फ्रॉम द माई स्कूल डॉट ऑर्ग वेबसाइट इवन इफ यू आर यूजिंग पिप यू कैन इंस्टॉल इट थ्रू द पिप right this is a web application so for web application development i am using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like uh, formula additions creating uh, drop down menus and the integration of the date calendar plugins i have used the jquery plugins and for many more other things also i have used the jquery plugins so this is total technology stack i have used for developing this project the sales management system right so let's start with the project functionality go through so the project title is sales management system it's a uh, dbms mini project developed on the python django and mysql it's a web based mini project right so this is the home page of the project so you can see this is a simple so home page this is a about and uh, if you want to change the content of this page then you can directly change it from the html page this is a contact and uh, you can submit the contact us info for information from here but i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere in the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page this is a login from where admin will be able to log in and perform certain operations which we have developed right so the user id is admin and the password test so once you log in then this is a sales dashboard from where admin can perform these operations right so admin can add the product admin can add the product sales admin can see the product details admin can see the product sales details and change password so these operations admin can perform right these menus is also available in the header menu so you can see this is the header menu right so once you click on the add product then you will get a form from where you will be able to add any number of products inside the system so there is no limitation for that you can add any number of product from the system and those product will be available in the drop down at a time of sales these are product details all of the product which you have added inside the system will be di will be displayed here right so this is eight products we have added and those eight products are displaying here if you want to edit the product just click on the edit and you will be able to edit the information here and you can submit it and those information will be updated into the database right so these all products are coming from the database this is the ad sales so for ad sales you need to enter the customer name first right so i am entering the customer name and the customer mobile number so you can enter any things so once you click on the ad you will get the sales dashboard right this is a sales dashboard from where you can choose the product from here so it will contain all of the product which you have added okay from the add product section so i am adding here right so you can add any number of product into the cart and you can say sales are getting generated automatically right so you can see sales is getting generated automatically right so you can even edit it or delete it also if you want to delete it then it will be deleted and if you want to add more then you can add more uh so mere yeah, so the cost will be calculated automatically right this is a save order once you click on the save order then this full page will be saved into the database and you will be able to get this details later means in the sales details tab okay so let me save it once you click on the save you can see this is the sales details and the order number is 9 and you can print it also right once you click on the print the full page will be will open in the printable format and you can print it through your connected printer okay so this is sales details in sales details all of the sales which has been made by you will be displayed right so this is the last sales which we have made at one once you click on the view order you will be able to get the sales details and the order number is 9 here right so the total cost the customer has paid is 760 rupees right so this is the sales details you can uh you can find any of the sales uh, past sales from this uh, sales details right sales records uh, menu right this is a change password 
once you click on the change password you will be able to uh, get the change password from from where you will be you will be able to update your account password and at the time of login the new password will work the old password will not work right this is a logout once you click on the logout then the whole session will be dis expired and the above header menu miss administration header menu will not be displayed let me show you once you click on the logout then you can see the above header administration menu is not displaying but if you click on the login the above header administration menu is displaying right so logout no display but if you log in then it's displaying so the above header menu is totally session driven and it works according to the session right so these all functionalities i have developed in the sales management system and as i told you earlier this is a web-based mini dbms python django and mysql project right so it's a very basic project which has only and only admin functionalities means admin login if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much